Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to day seven of my 24 days of DIY where I'm posting a new DIY video every single day up until Christmas. I hope you guys have been loving the DIY so far. If you've missed any, go watch them after this video and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of the upcoming ones. Today I thought we would do a little fashion DIY. So today's video is all about beanies. I feel like beanies are a staple in winter fashion, but today we're going to do a little upcycle on beanies and I'm going to show you four different ways to upcycle a basic beanie, just to make them a little cuter. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, let's start with our first beanie. Um, this one is just a plain black one, nothing on it. Um, so I thought we could spice this up a little bit. So I went to my craft store and I found some iron-on patches and I found these cute little butterflies and I just thought that'd be so cute just to have a little butterfly on a beanie. Super inexpensive and these came in a pack of two but I'm just gonna use one of them. Um, so I'll we'll have an extra little butterfly to do something with. Put it on a sweatshirt or a t-shirt or another beanie. So many options. <laughs> All right, this one's so easy to do. I have my iron hot and I'm just going to take one of my butterflies off and I'm going to find where I want to put it. I think I want to put it just like right on, right in the center. Um, so I'm going to make sure my hat is centered down. Now I'm just going to take a washcloth or some sort of towel or fabric and put it over um, the applique and then press it down with my iron. And the instructions say to press it firmly for about 30 seconds. And then after about 30 seconds, it should be nice and secure on your beanie. Oh, so cute. That is so simple to do. And it just made it so much cuter. Ah, I love it. So cute. Okay, let's do another one. Okay, so for the next beanie, I thought we would add a little jewels to it. So I have this cute brown beanie and at the craft store I was looking through their string of beads and I came across these like crystal looking beads. So I was thinking I would just um, glue down these beads right on this cuff of the beanie um, just to add a little sparkle. I think that's cute and I think the colors work super super well together. So I'm gonna cut the string and get all the beads out and then just organize them how I like them on this little cuff. And I'm thinking the best way to glue these down is just with a hot glue gun. So I'm gonna plug this in and organize my beads. Cute! Ah, a little bejeweled action there. I love it, so fun. Okay, this next one I'm really excited for, but I'm also the most nervous about this one. So I picked up a plain white beanie because we're gonna tie-dye this one. So I tie-dyed a few things this summer when tie-dyeing was like super popular during quarantine, you know? Um, so I picked up this Rit tie-dye. Um, this is in the color tan, and I really like how this color turns out, so that's what I'm gonna do for this beanie. Now, you probably could do like traditional tie-dye, like tie it up different ways and then dump it in the dye, um, but I'm gonna do it this way because I feel like I can get better preci precision and just like get the look that I really want by doing it this way. Um, so basically, I just put some dye in a water bottle and then add hot water to it and then I poked holes in the top and I'm just going to stick this in my sink and just kind of spray it to get the desired look. So hopefully I can spray it in a way that <laughs> I like. So let's go do that right now. Okay, so I just washed out my tie-dye beanie that has been sitting there for like an hour and it washed out and all the color washed out with it. So it's basically back to white again. So doing round two and this time I'm doing the traditional, like I tied it in little knots. And so now it's just chilling in a pot of dye. So hopefully this one works because I think it'd be really cute. Well, 
Unfortunately, the time I didn't work. It took me two times of trying to dye it and then washing it out for the color to completely wash out for me to finally read the instructions on my tie-dye bottle and it says not to do anything polyester. This beanie is 100% polyester, so that was my bad. <laughs> so basically the tie-dye didn't work, but it did dye the whole thing a nice tan color, which to be honest is cute. Um, so the tie-dye was kind of a fail, but the idea is still there. So if you want to do this, I would get like a cotton, 100% cotton um, beanie. That would probably work better. <laughs> but I guess this idea also showed me that you can just get a white beanie and just totally dye it like a custom color, which is cool too. So now I have a cute tan beanie. Not mad about it, wish it was tie-dyed, but you know, you win some, you lose some. <laughs> Okay, so this last DIY with a beanie, I've had this idea in my head for a long time, so I really hope this works, because if it does, it'll be really cool. So my idea is to take a beanie, either just a plain one, or this one already has a pom-pom on it, but I'm actually gonna cut this pom-pom off because I'm going to make a interchangeable pom-pom beanie. So the idea is you can make a bunch of different pom-poms, and you'll be able to clip them onto the same beanie so you can have the same beanie, but lots of different options. So I honestly don't know what the best way to do this is, but I picked up these fastener snaps and I'm hoping these work. So I'm gonna start by just chopping off this little pom-pom. And now you can make a bunch of different pom-poms. I made this faux fur white pom-pom the exact same way that I showed how to make pom-poms in the last video using just a piece of cardboard and some yarn. So go watch that video if you don't know what I'm talking about. So I have my two pom-poms now. Now I'm gonna see if this works. <laughs> so a snap has two parts to it. So what I'm thinking is I just need the bottom part of the snap in or I'll probably just put it right on top, like this, of the beanie. Sewing this in place would definitely be the more secure option, but I'm gonna start with hot glue because it'll be easy to just position it how I want it with hot glue, I'm thinking. So I'm taking the bottom half of my snap and I'm just going to hot glue it right in the center, the top of my beanie, right where I want all the pom-poms to attach. And I'm going to take the top half of the fastener, and I'm hoping this works if I just hot glue it on the pom-pom. Okay, I'm gonna let this dry for a few seconds before I try it. I hope it works. <laughs> now I guess for all the other pom-poms, that you make, you don't have to use the bottom half of the fastener, just the top halves. So I'm gonna try to glue another one onto this white pom-pom. All right, moment of truth. Let's see if it works. Snap! <laughs> Look at that. So now I can have my cute brown pom-pom. Then if I think my outfit would look better with a white one, I just snap that off, snap my white one on. <laughs> oh, I'm a genius. That worked so well, I'm so happy. Okay guys, so that is it for today's video. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I would say three out of the four. <laughs> worked really well. Such easy ways to add a little something onto a plain beanie. If you make any of these, be sure to tag me on Instagram so that I can see them. Be sure you're subscribed to my channel, and I will see you tomorrow with another DIY. Thanks, bye.